This week, we start back up on the outdoor earth bag tub. Garen and Ellie run into a challenge on their van conversion, and Shay makes a colorful fashion statement. So we are getting back into our tub and shower project that we have been working on. We stopped work on it because mom has got a really fun bottle thing that she's gonna be doing in the walls. And she's been so excited saving bottles and everything for this project, so we wanted to wait for her. And you're back. So now we can get going on that project again. So it looks like I'm gonna be bouncing between three and five feet. And then every time there's a high wave, we'll have a spiral, kind of fun little circle in there. There'll only be one deep around the tub because we obviously we want privacy in the tub. But when we're over here, I'll have nine bottles. You'll be able to actually see through if you put your face up to it. So that will be the plan. Back on the van, we're gonna do a little staining. Yeah, we decided to go ahead and stain the walls just so that it all kind of flows better. We were gonna leave it, but we're gonna coat it in something anyway. So we thought we'd throw some stain on it, make it blend and look a little bit more finished. We got red mahogany. I wonder if this is gonna be similar to cherry. Ooh, that looks red. That's gonna be cool, isn't it? Yeah, that is gonna be really cool. <laughs> that is dark. I need a rag. That's too dark. Garen tried to kind of sand it down and it got to be like looking like that, but that's still pretty dark. It's hard. That's just this side here it looks so incredibly clean. What about just polyurethane? That might be all it needs. It's such a bummer we couldn't find cherry. I really liked the cherry. Let's try a polyurethane a piece and let's try a piece of that polyurethane. Sounds good. All right, so this is my friend Mark, and we decided that we wanted to start making some headbands. So we're off to the store to pick out some cool fabrics to work with. Let's go get that done. Off like a herd of turtles. We really like the colorful patterns, so we've got quite the crazy variety that we'd like to make here. Hopefully we'll be able to find some really nice fabrics that we both enjoy. My friend Mark was really excited about making these headbands and after watching him make a few, I knew it was something that I had to be a part of as I absolutely adore sewing projects, especially little ones like this. Whoa. I'm such a big fan of this. We're gonna try a different store. Wish us luck. So I'm gonna try the stain on this one. Oh my gosh, it's like black. Just the way it soaks into that wood, crazy. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is black. Wow, that really soaks in. How do we get black? Okay, does that look anything like the picture? No. No, it does not. Does this need to be like, just like that or does it need to get stirred up or something? Stir stick? It looks like a liquid applesauce. Mmm, that's kind of more what I was thinking. Yeah, I was thinking like this light with a little hint of red would be really pretty. Can you mix stain and polyurethane together? I don't know. Well, I mean, they sell dyed polyurethane. Yeah. We need to look that up. Research time. Okay, so we have a plan. You can mix them. It'll dye the polyurethane, basically. So we have a little bit of cherry, and we're thinking about mixing the cherry in with the polyurethane and hope that it adds just a little bit of a red tint. Ah! Now, here's my question. Do we just send it? We just like guess on the parts. Okay. After some very careful calculations, we do one cap of the stain to 12 caps of the polyurethane. I should have done the polyurethane first. One. I have to count out loud, two. Five, six, eight. Nice. That looks pretty cherry. Okay, and this would be like one step process. That'd be so nice. Okay, here we go. There's a red-ish hint. I mean, it looks cool. It does, like, so this this was just straight polyurethane, but it is two different boards, so you can't know Flip for sure. Flip that one around. This one? Yeah. And try it? Sure. Yeah, it's definitely redder. It is, definitely has a red. That's kind of cool looking. Yeah. What do you think? We should send it. Perfect, let's do it. We need a bigger container. Oh no. Drum roll, please. Whoa, did you see that? <laughs> that was cool. <laughs> Overflow. Should I stop there? I have to stir it. Yeah, this might not have been my best idea. <laughs> oh mm. my gosh. That's not good. All right, I can't say all my ideas. 
I've been collecting bottles for years, basically. I always feel like I should be able to use it in a building material way. I, I can't seem to throw them away. All of these in here, and it kind of goes back. I thought your your collection was extensive. We have all the wood shit where boxes are stacked. But it seemed like every time I turned around, she was unlocking a new stash I didn't even know about. She goes over, there's three big 55 gallon barrels. She pops them open and she's pulling out, you know, all kinds of bottles. And I'm like, holy cow. And then she's like, if we don't have enough here, I have another stash over there. I'm like, oh my gosh. And then I have some in the hoop barn as oh well. Gosh. So I got three big stashes yeah, everywhere. Lots of stash. Yeah. I'm really excited. Putting bottles in our various builds that we do is just Fun. I mean, they're such an amazing building material. Can, how can you throw that away? <laughs> I agree. Very cool. The main one I like to use is the mayo jars. And you know, a mayo jar, how fast do you go through that? So you yeah. actually do need to collect them for quite a while. If you remember from the earth back rooms, what we do is we tape these together and that gives us the width of our wall. But this time, I really would like to have color. And then no, you came up with nice this time. great idea. It's really difficult to find different color class. I mean, you kind of got two or three options. That's about it. So my idea was to spray paint the inside of the bottle before we put it together and lay the wall over the top of it. Let's spray them again so that it looks more even. Look on the bottom, it looks like you could just see the spray. If we spray the inside, it's less likely to chip over time. See how that pans out in the coming years. Oh, I like that. So we've got them, the orange is gonna be the bottom layer. And then you can see we got it placed so that on one side, it needs to go up two layers more and the other one goes up one layer for the next set of bottles to try to remind us where those bottles go. We had another bus, but no fabrics at this location. Just art. Third time's the charm. Yeah, we're gonna get it this time. I can feel it in my veins. This is the site of success right here. <laughs> That's a good idea. And yet everything is still the same price. We were driving all around town looking for cheap fabric that didn't exist. Our hopes are high that the prices will be low. This is our last chance. This is where we got them last time, so yeah, let's go. This right here? This is what success looks like. But also, uh, we were kind of ditzy. And the reason we thought that it was so much money <laughs> was because we were getting double the amount of fabric. So, uh, don't worry about it. We know what we're doing. Well, we had a good laugh over it anyway and got the patterns that we wanted. Oh, we get a no. Down Peru. Oh, boy. It's so full. Woo! Sorry. At least we didn't have our camera right there. <laughs> Did I get you in the splash zone? No, I, I think I skated by. That was pretty good. It's amazing that it really does not change the look of that stain that much. It looks really pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna sand off this one spot we tried and then start putting our new mixture on. Some of this is not gonna all come off, but that's pretty good. Keep going? Yeah, let's do it. If it doesn't work, we can always sand it off, right? Yep. <laughs> that looks pretty. That does, I, I really like that. Man, that is gonna be slick too. Think about how much time we just saved. I know. We are efficient. Yeah, we are. <laughs> Boy, good thing we haven't done the floor yet. Kinda messy. Just a little. All right, guys, here to help us? Yeah, I'm ready to work. Woohoo! Thanks for offering to help today, Mark. Anytime. Okay, so we're putting in the little pony wall. The only mistake it doesn't fill in is if the we wall We have to do the like pony that. wall first mm -hmm. before we get started on the rest of the building. The reason is we're going to need to interweave. We needed to get that pony wall up because mm -hmm. it needed to be intertwined into yeah. the main wall. So I've always enjoyed doing the bagging, but my least favorite job has been going to get the dirt. Over here, Bri! Having a little skitter is making this process, I think, the most fun that I've had. It also makes it a lot faster. It always felt like when we filled the bags with the dirt, it would take us like two minutes to get the dirt in the bag. Go get the wheelbarrow, take it out, scoop it, fill it, get it wet, bring it back. It'd be like 15 minutes of getting the dirt and like five minutes of filling the bag. Yeah, because you Good can point. fill them so fast. We found that if we parked the skid steer in between the both sides of the building, that we could get two teams going. Oh my goodness, was that fast. Yeah. We're learning how to be more and more efficient. So we got our fabric 
comb and we folded them in half here. So the process of making these headbands is we take a strip of fabric, about a yard, and then we're taking them and we're folding them right sides facing together so that we have two layers. And then we're taking an inner facing and we're ironing it down. And then we mark out our patterns using these little pattern pieces. And then we sew down all of these lines, excluding the ends. And after we've sewed them down, then we cut them out so they become like their own individual pieces. And then we right side them out. Long little colorful headbands. After looking at it, we decided we only want the interfacing in the middle and not on the ties because it doesn't make sense to have interfacing where you're gonna tie it behind your head. But it does make sense for it to hold its shape on the forehead. We had so much fun making these headbands. I really adore every single pattern that we picked out. So pretty, with so much color. I really ended up liking them a lot when I was working. After we made the pattern, they were super easy to make. If you end up making one, please let me know. I would love to hear about it. Well, this has been really a fun adventure for me. I've enjoyed making these. They're super easy to make. Uh, if you want to make one, if not, we are selling them and the link for that will be in the description if you want to contact us through Instagram and let us know. Also, let me know down in the comments which pattern is your favorite. It's personally a tie for me between the one I'm wearing right now and this really swirly colorful one. Thank you so much for joining me on this adventure and have a wonderful day. This is looking great, babe. Yeah, I'm really glad we went with the mix. Looks great so far. It's so fun to stain something because then all the different styles and grains still show through. You know, you can still see all the uniqueness of the boards, but it kind of flows together nice. <laughs> yeah, kind of good to tie it all together. Yeah. Sweet. All right. That was the last of it. It's all stained now. Looks so good. It turned out really cool. I'm so glad we added the cherry and didn't do just polyurethane. Made it hot and pretty. Yeah, me too. Look at this wall. Like, I think we used very similar um, material for it. Yeah. And it really flows well. I also like this one. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of different going on. It's uniform enough that it still looks good but it's definitely still rustic and it's got that fun look to it. I yeah, think. definitely. It really turned out cool. I'm excited to put the trim on now. Yeah, me too. That's a good batch, Bri. Woohoo! Another day, huh? Another day. Bryce has been doing a new thing where he mixes the dirt with the skid steer so that it's nice and moist. It makes our process so much faster. It's really exciting. All right, so we got the blue bottles now that we're gonna pin down. Skid steer has made it super easy for just three people to do this job. I think probably the hardest part of filling up these bags is getting the dirt and stooping. How many times have we said, if we could just have continuous dirt, how fast would this be? Being able to adjust the height on it, it makes this so so much fun. <laughs> Pretty awesome. That's going to be it for this week. And it'll be interesting now we got the bottles. We've got three different colors in there now. I don't know what's going to happen over time with UV and how much that's going to yeah, break down. See. We'll see, but I absolutely love the coloring of the bottles. They're the bright color we could never have found organically. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty excited about that. I guess time will tell how well those colors hold up. Mm -hmm. So you remember last Wednesday, we did a review on this Prusa i3 printer. Not sponsored, me mind you. Um, I just got it because I wanted to upgrade my FDM printer. And we printed this wonderful looking, beautiful frog. And so I printed a few more things. Basically these are the things that are just preloaded on the SD card just to kind of see how the printer can handle certain things. Printed a whistle, which works. 
it is a pretty good standard when it comes to testing how good printers can print, which is the Benchy. And it did a beautiful job, basically flawless. <laughs> uh, one of the things I've always heard about these printers is they can print really, really good quality parts that look just amazing. I never understood it until now. Well, that wraps up this week. Before we get into anything else, I wanted to say thank you so much for all of the lovely comments about my long hair last week. You were very kind. The t-shirt design of the week is take advantage of sustainable palettes. If you'd like to get this on a t-shirt, sweatshirt, handbag, apron, or many of the other products that we have in our shop, as well as the previous designs that we've done in the previous weeks, the link will be down in the description. We have a 15% off sale now through Monday. So if you'd like to get something for a deal, this is your opportunity. We wanted to take the time to thank our Patreon supporters for their continued financial support. We don't say it enough, but we really appreciate you. Thank you so much for being a part of our family, and we'll catch you on Monday for that podcast. Bye! before you're a horse, and that's just the way that it is. You can still pull it off. You can half walls so that you can wave to the other person. <laughs> yeah, no. Our family moved from the city to the country. Thanks for taking part in our adventure. We have new videos every Friday evening. If you would like to help us out, you can like this video, share it, subscribe, or support us on Patreon. See the links in the description. Well, that was smart. <laughs>